Hello and welcome to Candela. We in Candela are starting a series on Indian economy for civil services examination. Over years, we have found that most of the aspirants, at whatever may be the level of preparation, be them a fresher or be them more into preparation for years together, still we can see many are not so comfortable with the subject and they keep struggling to complete this. And one more problem here is they find it very difficult to, to update themselves or to read the current affairs and how they can update the current events in Indian economy. And this is something very important in this preparation. And in this lecture, let us focus on there will be a series of lecture. In this, we'll focus on what are all the issues one need to keep in mind while doing their preparation in Indian economy. There are a number of reference books available in the market. The very famous one written by that and the Sundaram. The one written by Uma Kapila, the Indian economy since independence. In fact, it is not just a book that is a compilation of essays written by great economists like Bimal Jala. Then, though we have number of reference books still like a history or geography, one cannot just open a reference book and they cannot start their preparation in Indian economy. The problem largely is the difference in the economic meaning of the terms and the literary meaning. Let me tell you with one simple example. There is a term called as fiscal deficit. In every single reference book, they will keep mentioning that fiscal deficit means this is the deficit found in the budget of a country. But technically in India, what exactly you mean by fiscal deficit? Fiscal deficit is equal to total expenditure minus revenue receipts plus non debt creating capital receipts. So to understand fiscal deficit, one need to know what do you mean by a revenue receipt? What do you mean by a capital receipt? In that what is the debt creating component and what is that non debt creating component? Even in this total expenditure, we have revenue expenditure and capital expenditure. Above all, when did we started using the concept of fiscal deficit? When and uh, uh, why the Chakravarti committee criticized the Adidan government for using the concept like budget deficit to express the deficit found in our budget. And over years, how it has varied over time, how it kept fluctuating. For any country, be it the so developed the United States of America or be it China, even they will have fiscal deficits in their budget. The problem in India is the fiscal deficit in our country is because of the very high expenditure in very high revenue expenditure but not in capital expenditure. So what is the revenue expenditure? This includes all those expenditures which we spend on public administration, police, defense, the subsidies which we pay, etc. Capital expenditure on the other hand, right, it includes investment, creation of asset. So, how this fiscal deficit, how it varies over time and what are the steps which were taken to contain the fiscal deficit, but many say fiscal deficit is a necessary evil, why it should be there. So, every technical term in economics, right, has its own importance on how much time you are supposed to spend with uh, these terms and what are the things you are supposed to know about this. This is not one particular thing which our aspirants, right, they may not be in a position to understand from the reference books. 
from the reference books okay uh, then these terms right in our examination directly they will not ask about what is fiscal deficit what is revenue deficit what is budget deficit what is monetized deficit but they may ask something related to fiscal deficit like uh, um, so critically analyze all the steps taken by the government to curtail or to contain the fiscal deficit so or how our uh, policies related to expenditure there was even an expenditure reforms commission which introduced or which forced our government to introduce lot of reforms in the expenditure sector for example um, our government passed the very famous fiscal responsibility and the budget management act which aims at bringing down the revenue deficit to zero and fiscal deficit to less than four percentage so this is not a term which one can just read and go so these are the terms right which one need to sit and spend a lot of time discussing analyzing and how it influences the policy makers and the policies and how it influences our contemporary economic trends so for uh, for this understanding i prescribe what you to have one good dictionary for indian economy i prefer the penkyu dictionary for indian economy that's uh, penkyu dictionary for economics that is economics and um, you can keep that book always with you so that whenever you come across a term in economics and if you are not in a position to understand or if you doubt whether it is a, whether you need to construct or whether it construe the literary meaning or an economic meaning for that you can refer to this book then the problem faced by most of the aspirants while referring the economic uh, referring the proper uh, reference books from economics is most in most of the books they will start from the topic like nature and the characteristics of uh, indian economy planned economic development national income accounting poverty and unemployment and maybe after that they may start some topics like budgetary policies monetary policy uh, infrastructure inflation etc to understand the nature and the characteristics of a country's economy one need to have good idea about uh, or at least basics in uh, economics but most of our aspirants straight away right we jump into the preparation and uh, on, we cannot expect somebody to go and uh, become a graduate in economics so to start the preparation so here lies the problem and if this is left unattended this problem will continue until the last stage and always right there will be a confusion and uh, your lack of understanding the technical things right will not make you so confident when somebody discuss the topic uh, or either uh, at your interview or your personality test level if they ask you some queries about this right you will not be in a position to answer this with utmost confidence there are number of such terms i'll tell you one more example uh, there is one particular term called as uh, uh, cad current account deficit we keep uh, using the term it's something very common and very frequently some news related to current account deficit will always be there in the newspaper to understand this current account deficit one need to know what is a current account in our balance of payment b o p balance of payment so what is a current account what is a capital account so what are all the components there in a current account for example current account includes trade account and invisibles services is a very important component which is a part of current account for a major oil importing country like india trade account will always be negative so there is a very big stress in uh, the trade account which pulls the current account down so for a country like india current account will always be negative but it happened in the year 1973 current account marginally became positive it was because of uh, the first major oil shock oil crisis so oil prices started soaring as a result uh, it costed a lot in our import bill but uh, the indians who were there in the gulf countries their income level also started increasing and they made large scale foreign remittances to our country and because of this large scale foreign remittances our current account marginally became very marginally but it became positive after that once again it became negative to become positive only between the year 2003 to 4 and 4 to 5 on this time it was because of our extraordinary performance in service sector and service export 
but once again after that because of uh, the surge in crude oil prices and to go on once when you start um, uh, liberalizing the import of gold we started importing large scale gold into our country and uh, the soaring oil prices once again made our current account negative so in what are all the areas so if current account becomes negative there is too much stress in current account what are all the other sectors in the economy which is which it is going to influence so if you take a particular economic term when that means so what are all the things we are supposed to follow about that so in this series of lecture we will make it sure that we will make you to understand all the important economic terms and how you are supposed to use these terms in understanding the current affairs and how you can keep yourself updated so that you will be in a position to approach the main examination at ease at ease okay so um, we will be posting our lectures regularly and um, let me explain you using one more term see here there is one term called as uh, bracket creep the bracket creep leads to fiscal drag so what is this uh, bracket creep so the most of the times of what our aspirants used to do they used to construe their own meaning on the term this is keep passing away without understanding what exactly is the, the terms like bracket creep or what exactly is a term like a fiscal drag so bracket creep means during a time of inflation when there is an increase in liquidity in the system when the general price level increases even income of the salaried people also increases not just salaried people for everyone there will be a marginal increase in the income so earlier these people they may be earning some money and because of that they may not be there inside the tax limit for example suppose a for 5 lakh rupee is the tax slab is the tax slab and somebody is earning 4.95 lakhs he will not be there in no, the tax limit and he'll be spending all the money which he is earning and because of inflation if his salary managed to increase and if he starts earning 5.10 lakhs then now he comes inside the tax net close to around 10 percentage of the income close to around 50,000 he'll be losing as income tax and his actual income will be around 4 lakh 60 k only now so generally what we can expect from him so this condition will force him to curtail the unnecessary expenditure or maybe the expenditure which he spends on uh, uh, luxury activities like going to a movie watching a movie in pvr or uh, purchasing two shirts in a month instead of purchasing two shirts in a month now he'll go for purchasing one in two months so what happens now indirectly there is uh, a decline in uh, demand for the goods so this may slowly lead to fiscal drag once right when you can understand the importance of the economic meaning of the terms and how we need to follow we will be in a position to understand whatever news which appears in the car in the newspaper which are related to indian economy so in this series of lecture we focus on doing this and uh, soon i will be posting our next video let us begin our preparation from some topic which is interesting not from uh, again the boring poverty uh, philips car lawrence car okay or about uh, the planned economic development but we'll be doing that because we need to know about uh, uh, the planned economic development see we followed the soviet model in making a very fantastic plan and it worked actually we managed to reach this particular level largely because of um, the hard work which we did in the first few decades of um, uh, first few decades since independence so we cannot make a perfect policy aimed at uh, development but still it was all our hard work which made us to reach this particular stage we will be discussing about that we'll be discussing about the economic reforms in length like what do you mean by structural adjustment program what do you mean by stabilization program which one is long term which one is short term what exactly it uh, deals with uh, that we'll be doing
So let us begin our preparation from some topic which is interesting. So in the next lecture, let us start discussing about our external sector, where we will be doing some topics like WTO, IMF, uh, current account deficit, or current account convertibility, balance of payment, etc. So I won't uh, make you to wait for a long time. So within a matter of time, right, I'll be posting our next video. So keep uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, let us uh, have a very good discussion in this topic. And I hope I can make you very comfortable in Indian economy. Thank you.